and good morning vloggers. Today I am starting to feel a little bit better but still feel sick as a dog. Um, I have since uh, the outbreak of um, Legionnaire's disease at the Cranbourne Shopping Centre. Um, so I'm probably going to go to the doctors tomorrow if I'm not feeling any better. Um, so I've been told by my doctor I still need to keep my exercise and uh, taking munchkin here for walkies. Yep. So I'm going to take you for walkies. Yeah. He knows what walkies means. Uh, let's go for a walk. So today has been an okay day. Um, other than, uh, you know, still feeling a little bit under the weather. Got some mail from uh, Northern Queensland. So let's, uh, Get right into this. I know what this is. Let's just hope it uh, is the one that I'm waiting for. <laughs> Come on. And it is. Commodore Power Tape 2. Aftermath, Kids BMX, Dead Zone, and Space Invaders. How awesome is that? Side one, side two, so to load, press shift, and run stop, which is load. Then press play on uh, press play on your data cassette, which is this. If this tape refuses to load, uh, even when you're you've tested your tape head, send it with a stamp addressed envelope to Commodore Power Tape Two. Come to Enterprises. To Quested Warren Road, West Supermare, BS two three three UU, wherever the hell that is, and we'll send you a new one as soon as possible. I wonder if they still send up replacement cassettes. Um, it does have copyright nineteen ninety two on it, um, but. We're going to have a little bit of fun with this on another day. Um, thanks to the guys I bought this from on eBay. Um, which is Bayer's Trading Post in Queensland. Um, so, thanks to you guys. I am going to enjoy playing with this cassette. I don't think I've actually ever received an audio cassette in the post that comes in the size of what would be a DVD box. Uh, which is awesome, so thank you very much. Thank you for the good shipping. I'm going to have a play with that, but uh, over the next couple of days probably doing a restore, or sorry, um, uh, a refurb of the Commodore 64, so give it a bit of a clean up, take, uh, try and get that um, uh, dirty marks off it. Uh, see if I can get the color dis the discoloration out of it as much as I possibly can. Before I receive the uh, the new um, EEPROM or the uh, ROM chip for the uh, Commodore 64 1541 Series 2 disk drive, which needs uh, DOS version 2. Um, so yeah, if you guys didn't know, Commodore 64's run on DOS. Well, a version of BASIC. So. 
that's something you did not know. So if you don't like anything you've seen in these videos, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget, if you've got any comments, questions, or things I can be doing better, leave them in the comments field below on YouTube. And remember, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button. Get notified when I play my new Commodore 64 games. Or uh, receive my new EEPROM chip. But until next time, see you in the next video.